Hello, Hopkinton Middle School. I'm your host for this HMS Today episode, James Fuzzy. We've been getting some truly amazing feedback on our show. Thanks so much, and watch for a segment on that in the next few weeks. Today's show is all about the people who make HMS great. So we're going to start off with a teacher interview. Let's say hello to Mrs. Borges. The reason I became a teacher is because I love learning and I love kids. I teach tech and engineering because problem solving is essential to life. My favorite part of teaching is when kids say, that's so cool. My students have taught me patience and the power of kindness. I decided to teach in Hopkinton because the district offers Project Lead the Way. One of my memorable moments in class was when the fire alarm went off and I thought it was my fault because we were burning matches for a science experiment. It turned out it was just a drill. In my free time, I like to listen to music, dance, and play with my son. My favorite kind of mu music is any music that's happy and upbeat. My favorite movies are Home Alone and Ghostbusters 1 and 2. And my favorite TV show is Jeopardy. If I could change one thing about school, it would be to add more tech and engineering classes and more tech and engineering teachers. Thank you, Mrs. Borges. Let's keep the middle school information flowing with a student interview. Take it away, Joe. My name is Joey Rena. I'm in eighth grade. And three of my friends are Nick Chasey, Tom Johnson, and Dan Starring. I am involved in... Baseball, the most favorite school project I've worked on is the passion project in seventh grade. Uh, right now, my passion in life is baseball. If I could change one thing in school, I would change the hours. Something I'm good at is sports, and I like doing it because it's fun. Something meaningful that someone has done for me is my homework. When I am bored, I ch Netflix and chill. My favorite book or movie or song is The Lion King because Simba is my favorite character and Akuna Matata is a great song. My favorite story about me is cracked my head open when I was a kid. So yeah. Thanks, Joe. And now we bring you yet another minute interview. So here we go to Homework Club. Hi, my name's Mrs. McNally, and welcome to the Homework Club. Mr. Rockwood and I are the co-advisors of the Homework Club. Homework Club is held each afternoon in either room 220, Mr. Rockwood's room, or in room 221, which is my room. Students enjoy coming to Homework Club because it's a great place for them to come in get their homework done before they go home for the day. They are able to ask myself or Mr. Rockwood questions if they need some help on homework. They're able to ask other students that are getting their homework done for some help and some guidance on an assignment that they may have. So I think Homework Club is a great place to come and hang out after school, but don't take my word for it. I have two students here, Ryan and Joe. Homework Club is a quiet place where you can collaborate with teachers and friends. And I think it's good because you can get all your homework done in the day, and then when you go home, you can just chill out and hang out with your friends. Love to see you guys at Homework Club any day, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 2 to 3.30. Come on and do some studying with me and Mr. Rockwood. Cool. Now we have a Fun Fact Friday segment. Good morning, and welcome to another Fun Fact Friday. Did you know... On February 2nd, 1680, the Great Comet disappeared from view. But while it was visible, it allowed Sir Isaac Newton to ascertain the parabolic trajectory of that comet that was visible in the sky. All right, so I want to commend Jessica Franks for coming up with a list of 54 words made out of the word snowball. Well, I have a new one for you. How many common English words, four letters or more, four letters or more, can you make out of the word romance? Now, I use this one because, as you know, next week is Valentine's Day. Make it a great day. Be kind to one another and enjoy your education. Awesome. Thanks for that. 
Now, next up, we have question of the day. Today we asked, what cell phone app can you not live without? Snapchat. Snapchat. <laughs> Instagram. Instagram. Customer care. iBooks. Madden um, Mobile. The App Store. McDonald's Takeout. Yeah. Candy Crush. Uh, I cannot live without 8-Ball Pool. It's my life. Steam, because it has a lot of video games on it. The Beaver app. If you want to be a beaver, then... Be a beaver! iFunny. Snapchat! Twitter! Musical.ly! Snapchat! I can't live without Instagram. One app that I can't live without is Madden Mobile. Minecraft! Instagram! Instagram. Follow, Follow us, Let's Girls be Boss! <laughs> and now it's time for the birthday school. Happy birthday to... Finally, it's Have You Seen This Time? This week's picture was outside the dynamic media room. Congratulations to everyone here. Stop by the HMS TV room after school next Wednesday to collect your prize. There's no new photo this week, so that's all for this week, folks. Remember to email us with suggestions for interviews, question of the day, or compliments and complaints. And see all our stuff at hcam.tv slash hmstv. Now get out there and study hard.